welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to test out the Fleur de Force Christmas Cracker. Now, Fleur does have two of these, but I'm going to review the first one. I actually don't remember what's in there, so it's much of a surprise as it is to you. Now, if you do like this video, drop a comment below because I will open the second one if you guys like it. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm almost on 30,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So yeah, hit that little red button. But yeah, let's uh, open this cracker. Okay, so I'm gonna open it very gracefully because it's so pretty. Okay, here we go. It comes in a really cute little tissue paper, all wrapped up nicely. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so you've got a bag and you've got to get into it. There we go. We have two lip glosses and also an eyeshadow palette. Wow, okay, so it's very autumnal. So it's got greys, I think there's a bit of gold. And it's also got this really nice like brownie burgundy color, which I love. But first things first, I'm gonna check out the lip glosses first. And I'm gonna start with the more pinker shade, I think. So recently I actually tried out the uh, Tanya Burr Advent Calendar. I'll leave the link to that down below. And she had a number of lip glosses in the Advent Calendar and they were amazing. I was so chuffed by them, they were really good. So let's just see if Fleur's is as good as Tanya's. Okay. Okay, so this is actually quite a nice pink colour. It's not too bright and it's not too pale. It's like a medium pink, I'd say. It went on really well. It doesn't feel as sticky as other lip glosses, which personally I really like. It doesn't smell as good as Tanya's. Tanya's smelled like marshmallows, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, really nice, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly take off this lip gloss to put the other one on. Okay, the next one is a gorgeous Christmassy colour, so it's quite a reddy tone. Looks really nice. Let's see if it's as pigmented as it looks from the packaging. Oh my gosh! I absolutely love it. Just look how amazing that looks. I love red. This colour is literally to die for. I love it! Oh my goodness, again, it's not as sticky, which I really like because if you're wearing your hair down and it's a bit gusty and blowy in the in the UK, so your hair isn't gonna stick to the lips, but yeah. I'm really impressed, actually. These lip glosses aren't a matte lip gloss, they are a shiny lip gloss, so yeah. I think I do prefer matte lip glosses to lip glosses, but judging it being a lip gloss, it's really, really good. Okay, next I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow palette. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I... Oh, I've opened it. Okay. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. I was going to say that it's difficult to get into, but I think it was just me. It comes with a really cute brush. Now, this looks like it's made out of real hair. It doesn't feel synthetic, which is different. Usually it's made out of that naff, I don't know, cheap, bristly thing that just falls out. But this is passing the test. No bristles are falling out here. Right, I'm gonna swatch this on the back of my hand so I can show you the colours. Well, I'll show you quickly first. So you've got a kind of a peachy, pearly, creamy colour, which looks gorgeous. And then you've got a beige colour. You've also got like a goldy, bronzy colour, and you've also got a brown tone. I thought it was a, um, what did I think it was? I thought it was a burgundy tone, but it is a brown tone. But nevertheless, it is gorgeous. Okay, so this is what they look like on the back of my hand, and these two colours Oh my gosh, just look how gorgeous they are. They're really pigmented actually. All I did was literally tap onto the um, palette and then swiped and look at that. It looks incredible. Because I really like these two colours, so the darker brown and the bronzy colour, I'm just gonna pop them onto my eyes to see what they look like. Because that would make sense. I'm gonna pop the bronze colour on the inner eye. It's going on really nicely to be fair. Oh my gosh, I really like this colour. It's not super pigmented that it goes like a really dark colour. I think it's like a really nice medium colour, so like an everyday kind of palette. Okay, so I'm gonna try the darker brown on the outer eye. Oh, wow. Guys, can you see that? It's really pigmented actually. These two colours are like gorgeous next to one another. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye, just so that I don't look weird or anything. 
So there we go guys, that is Fleur de Force makeup and I think it's really good actually. The whole cracker itself was just £12. £12? How much is that a product? Wait, there's three products divided by 12. £4 a product. That's pretty cheap, right? If you like this video, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button because I'm almost on 30,000 subscribers. Incredible. And also drop me a comment if you want me to do the second cracker. I'm actually really intrigued to see if the second cracker is good as the first. Be sure to follow me on all my social media sites. All the links to those are down below. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye. Okay, first up is the Zoella Bulbul. Ball Ball. Now the official name is Deck the Bulbul. Ball my fairy lights just fell. So Deck the Baubles is actually a bubble bath. Now I actually thought it was a shower gel because it's quite small. Anyway, I really like the look of it. It's really shimmery and pretty, but let's see what it smells like. Ooh, okay, so it's got a lot of flame into it, if that makes sense. So it smells very cinnamony. 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 <laughs> I can't talk.